Sheen Shop. Yeah, boy. What's going on, guys? Today, we are checking out the Primal Ritualist skill tree and seeing what the heck is up with totems. I think this might be the best skill tree in Outward, but only if you use it correctly. Before we actually get into what the skills are from this skill tree, there are a few things that you should know about it. First of all, you can only get this skill tree if you have purchased the Three Brothers DLC. The guy who teaches you the skills is in Caldera, and that area is only open to people who have the DLC previously mentioned. Another thing you will need is the totems themselves. They can be crafted by the Primal Ritualist if you bring him the correct ingredients. The Ghost Drum is the purple totem, and you need one Hexastone, one Ghost Eye, and two Palladium Scraps. The Sky Chimes is the white totem, and you will need one Peach Seed, one Occult Remains, and two Palladium Scraps for him to craft it. The cool thing about totems is you don't need the skill tree to use them. Just buy Haunting Beat and Welkin Ring at the very bottom there, and you can place them down. These totems cannot be placed next to each other, however. There is a skill in this skill tree that lets you do that, but only if you pick the skill tree. Haunting Beat costs 20 stamina to use and will set down the Ghost Drum. This drum can then block ranged attacks and hitting it will send out a small wave of ethereal damage. This drum also inflicts Aether Bomb, which explodes enemies with ethereal damage if they are in your totem's range for long enough. The Sky Chimes works in a similar way to its counterpart. You can block projectiles with it and send out lightning waves if you hit it. This totem also inflicts Holy Blaze, but that is only if your enemies are burning. Be aware that you can only strike either totem every 3 seconds, meaning you can't just spam magical waves of death. Both totems are amazing in battle and let you choose how you want to fight rather than letting your enemy decide. Just beat them to death with the totem, or let the totem damage them while you fight alongside it. Plus, you can place one and save the other totem for the next fight, since the cooldown for placing them is 120 seconds. Me and my brother found a tiny bug with this skill tree that let him endlessly place infinite totems down in my world. I believe this was caused by poor connection, but it was pretty interesting all the same. Lagged the crap out of our games though. Miasmic Tolerance is the other tier 1 skill from this tree that can be learned by everyone. It increases your resistance of status effects by 15% when well rested. This is pretty great because it lets you take more hits from enemies without getting poison, burn, or even bleeding on your character. Be sure to buy this skill if you head to Caldera because the region is extremely deadly and most of the enemies inflict some sort of status effect that can get you killed very quickly. Sacred Fumes is where you will need to spend a breakthrough point and gives you 7 barrier upon learning the passive skill. What is Barrier, you might ask? Well, Barrier is the counterpart of Protection. Protection reduces your physical damage taken by a flat rate. Barrier does the same thing with Elemental Damage. This is extremely good in large amounts, and completely negates certain attacks that just aren't powerful enough to hit you. I got hit by a Lightning Attack with and without 7 Barrier, and the difference in health taken away was about 7. My health was reduced by 19 without the Barrier, and by only 12 with the Barrier. Boons can be used alongside this to reduce the damage even further. The skill is not going to make you invincible, but can greatly reduce damage taken from fire, lightning, and any other elemental attack that would normally take most of your health away. Next up, we have Nurturing Echo and Reverberation, and you can only have one or the other. Choosing one will cross the other one out, so choose carefully because you do not get a redo. I am honestly not sure which skill is better. Nurturing Echo gives you health and mana back when used. You have to be near your totems to activate this skill, and a bubble will form around them. The purple totem restores 5 mana and stamina, but will do this repeatedly depending on how many times you have hit the thing. The white totem restores 5 health and reduces status effect buildup by 10%. This one will also keep pulsing longer depending on how many hits you gave it. I like this skill because it gives you a lot of regen. After a fight, most of us are depleted of health, mana, and stamina. Just hit your totems a few times and it is all restored. This does not work with burnt qualities though, so you still have to sleep and make potions. There is a 240 second cooldown on this skill, meaning it will take a while to come back for a second use. The animation for this skill also takes a bit, so you may find it hard to use mid-battle. Depending on your opponent, it could be possible though. Great skill for trying to get through the full content of this game. We also have Reverberation, and it works in a similar but very different way. The effect still depends on how many times you have hit the totem, but this effect increases in range and damage depending on your hits. It also allows you to pick up one of your totems, leaving a shockwave effect on the ground. This effect deals large amounts of damage and will do damage in whatever element the totem was that you picked up. I've found that the damage was very good, and it can actually knock down your enemies if it lasts long enough. This lets you either back off a bit and recharge, or rush in and defeat the enemy while literally the air is helping kill it for you. 
I don't believe it is possible to pick up both totems at once, but Reverberation also has a cooldown of 10 seconds, letting you use it on the other totem almost immediately after. Great for damage, but you miss out on those regen abilities, so I usually take Nurturing Echo. Lastly, we have the two passives for this skill tree, and both can be learned, so no hard decision making on this one. We have Harmony and Melody, which lets you place both totems next to each other. This is very good for larger fights, where you want to do lightning damage and ethereal damage to the enemy over a long period of time. It also lets you use Nurturing Echo on both, regening all your attributes at once. Then we have Battle Rhythm, which gives you 5 barrier while within Sky Chime's area, and 5 protection while within the area of the Ghost Drums. This is pretty crazy if paired with different armors and weapons. You could get up to around 30 protection if you pair this correctly. Not only that, but you would still have a minimum of 12 barrier from this skill tree alone. The sheer amount of defense from this skill makes it amazing, and extremely powerful for mages and melee characters. It also grants 5 protection and barrier to your allies, including co-op partners and even your old ghost friend. One of the better skills in this game for co-op, since it can make you both take almost no damage. The Primal Ritualist skill tree is awesome, and can be used to make your character take very little damage from tons of sources. You will need to place your totems often to make use of their crazy effects, so if you don't plan on doing that, then you may not want to take this skill tree. However, it takes very little time to place a totem, and picking them up isn't that bad either. In fact, you could pair this skill tree quite well with a build I made a while back called the Mana Knight. Since that build focused on lightning and ethereal damage, you could perfectly use totems while only gaining more damage. Don't forget that the totems have effects you can use as well. Aether Bomb in particular is amazing. It explodes the enemy in a magical aura that looks awesome and drastically takes away your opponent's health. The amount of things you could do with this skill tree alone is what makes it so great. You can play around with totem placement, maximizing your fights, and optimizing your defense as well. Be sure to pick up at least one totem even if you're not taking this skill tree. The elemental hits from it only get more powerful the more you use it. Absolutely amazing skill tree and so much fun to use. There you go guys, that is every skill from the Primal Ritualist, and hopefully you actually understand what this skill tree does now. The possibilities are endless, so be sure to check it out and make your builds even more powerful. Thanks for watching the video, and I will catch you in the next one.